Hello. Now, are you sitting comfortably? Then I'll begin. My name is Melody. A tremendously special person chose this name for me. Apparently he knew someone with my name, someone grand, someone splendid, and I am privileged to wear the moniker myself. I like to think there's a second reason that I'm called Melody, because when the music plays, I'm taken straight back to my life before, when I lived in Cairo, as did, incidentally, the special person who named me. We weren't there at the same time, but we shared something unique during the brief time our lives overlapped. Now you see, when I was a person and living in Cairo, it was many years ago. Actually, not as far back as that, although the city today, I believe, still has remnants of my time there. And I did have my own camel. Cecil, in case you're curious, was his name. During the latter years of the 19th century, in my very grand office at the embassy, I ensured the cultural life of the city kept ticking over. I employed musicians and composers to celebrate Cairo's significance in world affairs. I also had a quartet on hand to entertain in the main lobby on Wednesday afternoons. My life wasn't a long one, Few people made it to the status of elder back then, but it was a good one, full of music and charming people. I remained in the world between times for, I don't know how long, watches don't work up there, but I set up a choral society and exchanged many a pleasantry with Handel, Bach and attempted conversations with Beethoven, but that man was challenging to say the least. When Clara Schumann joined us, things looked up enormously. Although I do believe she was rather underestimated in her lifetime. But younger scholars are, I hope this is the right word, championing her today, which is excellent. But back to me. Several offers were made over, one assumes decades, perhaps centuries. But nothing truly appealed until I heard one could become a dog. That would be delightful, I said, especially when they showed me this rather incredible looking beast. Well, wouldn't you? Now, unlike my furry siblings, as I do like to point out, I was chosen. I didn't have a huge, long adventure to arrive here. I didn't get here, then keep running away, looking at you, Fred. Unlike poor Psyche, I didn't have a troubled home life before making it to the house with the ship on the side, as it's known hereabouts. No, my special person chose me. This is what they tell human babies about adoption, but I believe, having been human and also adopted, but that's another part of my backstory for another time, I appreciate the chosen aspect of my start in life. Life here is good. We get plenty of rigorous exercise, then take significant amounts of naps. I'm often called to the dining area for a late night snack, but my human in charge, one of three who preside over our most welcoming household, is very kind. And if I'm upstairs listening to something stimulating from my Egyptian past, she will come up delicately offer the morsel to me without interrupting at all and I can return to my music and remember my special person and our joint history in Cairo.